While this virtual training company masterclass has given you a lot of information to help get you started on installing, configuring, securing, and using Secure Shell, understand that there's a lot of other information out there that may help you solve particular technical problems or just give you some general information about Secure Shell. Now I've listed a few resources here that you can get started with, but there are lots of them out there. You just have to go to your favorite search site such as Google and just do search on Secure Shell and you'll get a lot of information. Here are some of the more popular sites that I've seen out there that have helped me out. There's the OpenSSH site, which basically gives you the uh, open SSH perspective, both in downloading the software and information about the software, and that's a very good site. We also have Putty, which, as I said, is the probably most popular client for Windows for using SSH over Windows. Understand there are some other ones out there, and those are very good clients, but Putty is where you can get started with uh, the Windows side. The Secure Shell official site, this is uh, where you can look at Secure Shell, the official uh, beginning implementation of it, uh, before it was ported to open SSH, and you can get some good information here as well from there. Now, if you want some more in-depth technical information, the Wikipedia site has some really good uh, starting points for technical information on Secure Shell where you can get started and jump to other links as well. The other good places you can get Secure Shell information and downloads and so forth is the Linux distribution sites, the how-to sites, and so forth. You can go to your favorite Linux distribution, whether it's Red Hat, Debian, Mandriva, OpenSUSE, and so forth, and you can get good information on the particular version of SSH that's installed with your particular Linux distribution. These are some good sites, but as I said, there are plenty more out there, so feel free to go and look and use them and download and use SSH.